Hello everyone. Hope everyone is having a wonderful Wednesday. Welcome in. So today we are going to go back and check out a Goodwill blue box. This one is from Tennessee. So let's uh, see what Goodwill blue box has for us today. I know that we were supposed to do the liquidation box, uh, but it did not show up yesterday. It is supposed to be delivered today, which is Tuesday. And I won't have time to film it. So we're gonna go ahead and do a blue box. So here is a little peek at the blue box. Again, this one is from Tennessee. So here are the things. Looks like we got a lot of faux pearls. It's like lots of craft items. So I'm just gonna dump it out and let's go. All right, so up first we have a wooden earring. Looks like it's been monogrammed with someone's initials. we get out of here lots of beads lots of beads in this one all right so this necklace is broken I can see already this one says simple simple never heard of that here are the green beads so this will be a craft item because a strand is broken Here's a little earring right here. Just feels like plastic. Let's see, I thought maybe we had a match for a second. All right, so here is a clip earring. I don't see any makers on this one. We have another gold tone earring here, no maker on it. See a little butterfly. So here is a little rhinestone butterfly necklace. Looks like all the rhinestones are there. Gold tone chain, I don't see a maker on it. All right, we got some big chunky, chunky stuff at the bottom here, okay. We'll just start with this little ring right here. So it's an enamel ring. It is gold tone, it has a little lightning bolt on it. And I have to go get my ring sizer. Hold on one second. Okay, we're back. So here is, it is adjustable, you can tell right there. So without anything right now, it's sitting at an eight. It's a, looks like it's, it doesn't have much wear on it, so that's nice. Here is an earring, very worn, put that over there. like we have a panel necklace with that glitter. Uh, I'm not sure how they do that because you can definitely feel the texture of the glitter. We have that. Here's an earring. Here is a wrap bracelet. So you have gold tone, little beads right here on black leather or faux leather. I don't see any uh, designer or maker marks on that one. All right, so it's a pretty pendant right here. Again, no maker on it, but these beads, it's, it's kind of a heavy, like a heavy metal. The, the cord right here is very stiff. So 
no maker on that one. You have an earring here, tassel earring, the sticker on it. Here is a bangle, that braided chain look. Here's another clip-on earring. I don't know this maker mark right here. It looks like it has a C and an R. So that is a new one, but here is the necklace. Another earring. This is one of those wire necklaces here. Looks like there's a couple of glass beads on here. There's some metal beads as well. Definitely a choker style necklace. Black bangle. We have another choker here. This way, oh, this is Lucky Brand. There's the Lucky Brand tag right there. So you have the little pendant and the suede. So that's a nice little find right there. Here's an earring. We have one of those memory wire, memory wire, uh, memory wire, if I could remember how to talk. We have a memory wire bracelet that I just completely turned the wrong way. So let me see if I can fix this real quick. Anyways, this is going to go into craft. If anybody wants to use it for the beads, got lots of uh, pretty beads there. Here is a silver tone, kind of like a frosted matte beaded necklace. These are just acrylic plastic faux pearls. Not even really, um, they don't really have like a pearl shape. They kind of just look like little triangles. You have a gold tone hoop earring. Here is an earring with a cross in the center. So you got gold tone and silver tone. Here's a faux pearl necklace with a pretty box clasp on it, but it is missing a rhinestone. I think it says Japan right there on the side too. Yeah, so it says Japan, missing a rhinestone. And these are acrylic uh, faux pearls. Here's an earring with another price sticker on it. Let me see if I can get this, get this little guy out. Check him out. It's it's a uh, plastic with little plastic rhinestones. It's cute. Here is a. These feel like glass. So I believe it to be. It might be an anklet. 
pretty uh, glass like barrel beads on that one. And we got lots of bracelets at the bottom here. Oh, I see some. Okay. So this is just white acrylic. We have another wrap style bracelet here. I don't see any makers on it, but it does have a pattern in the uh, in the leather there. If, I'm not sure if it is real leather or not. It feels nice. We have a gunmetal bangle. Here is a enamel clamper with rhinestones. Let's make sure they're all there. Yeah, it looks like they're all there. No maker mark on the inside. It's kind of like a uh, coffee color, camel color. Oh, look what we found. We got cloisonne. I love binding uh, cloisonne in Goodwill boxes. It rarely happens. It seems like anymore. But we got this really pretty bangle, blue background. Love it. This is just one of those aluminum uh, bangles. Okay, so we just found, I just found an earring. Liz Claiborne, LC on the back right there. And I'm pretty sure I have uh, this exact pair. I wanna say I, show, I showed it not too long ago in a whatnot show, I think. I think I still have them. So that's interesting. We'll have to see if we have uh, the match to that. So here is a gold tone. And here, these are all acrylic. Have this earring right here. Oh wow, we got a, okay, and there's a bunch of earrings at the bottom too. Hopefully they have matches. All right, let's see, let's get this tassel out. So while I'm working on this, I want to say thank you to everyone who joined in to the live that I did on Sunday. I apologize a million times for the um, video quality issue. Uh, we did upgrade our internet to the highest that our provider um, has, which is a terabyte. So hopefully... Uh, we don't have any other issues. Um, we're going to try a different setup the next time. And by the way, um, we are going to be doing lives every Sunday um, for the foreseeable future. So just come on over and Sunday, it'll be 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come on over, hang out. Uh, we have 132 pounds of jewelry that we are going through. We haven't even uh, put a dent, not even a small dent in it. There's still so much stuff. So come on over, hang out, have a good time with everybody. Check out some pieces. Everything is for sale. If you see it, you like it, just let me know you want it. All right, so here we have a tassel. Again, we have some crystals. This is like a purple tone. And you have some seed beads. We have another tassel necklace right here. This one is like a blue gray. And then you have blue gray beads. And these feel like glass. Love the sparkle. All right, we have a giant mess here. I think this neck, oh no, it's not. All right, it is broken, so it's gonna go into craft. But here is the necklace. You have some strands of uh, faux, or plastic, acrylic rhinestones. All sorts of faux pearls. 
Here is a giant silver tone hoop. And we got a mess going on over here. Let's see if we can get this out. Okay, so that wasn't too, too bad. Look at all of these faux pearls. This is a very heavy, weighty necklace. There is the tag on it. If anybody knows uh, whose maker mark that is, please let us know in the comments. So each one of these pearls has a little um, acrylic bicone on the end of it. That's a serious statement necklace right there. Alright, let's get... So this one is by Charming Charlie. There is the tag. It's just a long orange acrylic stationed necklace. You do have an extender on it. Okay. There's something that has all of these tied up. So, let's see. Okay, we are back and that took a while. So the multi-strand or the wire necklace did get sacrificed. It was already broken and I had little purple beads go everywhere. So we're just gonna roll with it. Uh, we do have a rainstorm, a uh, thunderstorm that's rolling in right now. So hopefully we'll get some nice uh, little thunder sounds. So. Here is a faux pearl earring, it does have some wear to it. We have this pretty interesting necklace here. So we have a little piece of cloisonne. So here's a cloisonne bead. Here's a ceramic bead. We have a wood bead with some bead caps. Pretty neat uh, little necklace here. Kind of very eclectic and got all the different possibilities of material you could possibly want. Here's a shell choker style necklace. This is a multi strand so it's got five strands. Here's the clasp area. This one is by Loft. Um, it is all tangled up within itself, but it's got all these acrylic uh, rhinestones and matte colored bicones on it. Got this little tassel that came off of a necklace. Here is a black beaded necklace. Here is an antique bronze bangle. Hopefully you can hear the rain. We do have a necklace here. This is a state necklace. Silver tone.
All right, this necklace, this one had some issues too, where it was all tangled up, but here's the little tassel at the end, silver tone chain. The pendant came off of the chain on this one. So it kind of looks like it might be reversible. Here's the back. Got a faux pearl right there. Here is the chain. I believe this one is marked Avon. Yeah. So it's an Avon necklace. This is a Charming Charlie necklace. There's the tag. And you just have all of these little metal dangles. It's a long, super long necklace. This one broke, but I believe these to be labradorite because there's a little flash of blue in a couple of them. So that's nice. We haven't found labradorite in a while. You have a faux pearl necklace with a barrel clasp. Here's a teeny tiny little stud earring with a, maybe a garnet, it might just be plastic. I think this necklace actually might be coral. I'm not sure because it's very porous. It kind of looks like coral if you um, if you can see or shells maybe. See how there's like a swirl pattern on the inside, so maybe it's like shells. But it does kind of look like coral too. It has a barrel clasp on it. That one's neat. Here we have another. Who's this by? This is by Loft. So it is a glass basset cut crystal necklace. And then you have the tassel here at the bottom. The large earring here. Here's another earring. I don't see any makers on this one. Here is a fabric wrapped bangle. Uh, let's see, what's this? And it has like a little southwestern vibe to it. Let's get all these bangles out of here. All right, as always, the bangles available. <laughs> oh, taken. So I guess when you wear it, you can decide what side you want to show and let everybody know if you're available or taken. So all bangles are a dollar, unless otherwise stated. All right, so we got a bunch of earrings at the bottom. Here is a leather earring. Here's a little flower. Nice bright summer colors. A little glass piece right there with some shell. Okay, what's this? So this might be sterling. It looks like sterling. That might be lapis. There are some gold flecks in that blue stone. So I will definitely test this and see what that is. Ooh, 
of this cross. Oh. All right, so one of the little acrylic stones just popped off of it, but does it have a maker? It just has a little heart at the end. But it's black enamel. It's really pretty if we can get that. And yeah, we got some others that are missing too, so but that's a pretty substantial little piece right there. All right, we've got some earrings. Here is a glass earring, and I believe that's a little chip of unikite up there. Here is a ring with the octopus on it. That's pretty cool. Definitely has a lot of wear to it. It's like a five and a quarter. Another hoop earring. Here is a little fashion ring, just a gold rectangle. This one is a nine and three quarter, no, nine and a half, my apology. Nine and a half. Oh. It's a pretty earring that fell. And that feels cold, like glass. Dare greatly. Little bracelet. Little earring right here. This is shell that is painted. Another wire necklace. You get a bunch of pieces on there. This kind of looks like sterling too. With maybe um, enamel or something on it. Let's see. There's a hoop. Here's the next batch of tangles. Let's see, hopefully this one doesn't take as long to get through. Let's see, what do we got here? We have a staple. GS, I don't know what GS means. Here's a bangle. Doesn't sound like the rain stayed with us all that long this time. And the Florida storms, they come in and they leave real quick. And then they'll come back, like three hours. Uh, let's see. one. Looks like we got a pin in here that everything got tangled on. Okay, we're back after round two of detangling. So here is a silver tone bangle. Uh, we have a lot of broken pieces in here. So here is a necklace 
that is broken so that will go into craft um, we do have this giant pile of not really giant but it's there's quite a few necklaces in there they're all really tiny and if anybody wants it it'll be a dollar for that whole bundle um, it is tangled so you will have to untangle it here is an earring you have a silver tone necklace right here with these little silver tone balls I think I figured out um, what GS stood for. I think it's Ginger Snap. I thought about it because I noticed that, oh, there you go, Ginger Snaps. There you go. So this is like a lanyard. These are interchangeable, so you can take that out. Looks like all the rhinestones are there. So nice little necklace and the clasp is magnetic. I know there are several people that love magnetic clasp. So we already looked at that one. Okay, this one right here is just another choker style. You have these little metal uh, station pieces. It is adjustable. You have another panel necklace here. So you have the chevron off-white and black chevron print. This is what I really had my eye on because of all the rhinestones that are in this one. Doesn't have a maker's mark on it or anything, but I think it's pretty neat. Like that. Here is a bracelet with a bunch of caged faux pearl hearts. No maker on it, but a pretty neck or not a necklace, it's a bracelet. Here is the pin that had all of the necklaces caught in it. It is missing some rhinestones, so this will go into craft. You do have this earring right here. Uh, not entirely sure what this is supposed to be. Maybe somebody that is bungee jumping. Oh, because it's elastic. Look at that. So somebody uh, bungee jumping, they turned it into an earring. That's interesting. We have a seed pod necklace. More tassels. This has a, it has a marking right there. I have no idea what that is. I'll test it for sterling and see if it's a sterling chain. I'm not sure. We have a chunky white acrylic necklace, beaded necklace. Here is a strand of faux pearls. These are plastic. Got that earring, very lightweight. We have a black plastic acrylic necklace. Sorry, I'm over here. I'm focusing on all the earrings. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring them all out. Got some rings in there too. That's nice. Is that everything? What is that? That's another earring stuck in the box. Okay. All right, box is empty. So here's another earring with a sticker on it. Five dollars for the pair. We didn't even get the match. Here's a brushed gold ball. There's an embroidered, a 
initial pendant. Another clip-on earring. Here's another one with elephant. Another earring here. It feels like acrylic. Now we do have a pair. Oh, these are MAM earrings. So, funny story. I Here's the signature. Apparently, uh, some of the earrings made by this designer are quite desirable. I had no idea. Um, I did have several pairs. Um, I think four or five that I found, I want to say, in a blue box. I'm not sure if I unboxed it or not. But I happened to be listing on eBay and I happened to notice that this brand uh, sells for a good bit of money. So I actually sold, I think, two or three pairs already for 30 bucks. So that's pretty nice. And we'll have to look these up and see if those are good ones. Here's another bangle. So... Make sure that if you see this brand, uh, look it up because it might be worth it to pick it up if you can get them cheap enough. There's a button. There's an earring. Got another earring here. Sandal earring, flower, the polka dot earring, metal. Okay, IBB. What is IBB? Um, it says IBB right there, and then stainless steel china. These are one of those um, pendants that you can open, I think. You should be able to take all of those crystals out. Yep. So they, they are interchangeable. I'll have to look up. I'll put, if I find anything out on IBB, I'll put it on the screen. That says royalty, little pin, royal pin. Leprechaun guy. Here's an earring. And a pendant, very worn. Here's an earring. Okay, let's get all the rings together. Here's a faux pearl. Earring, we have a hoop earring. Another faux pearl earring. Here is the next group. Got a heart pin here. No maker. Got some belly button rings. Has a little black enamel heart. Purple enamel heart. This one, 
This one's pretty neat. Looks like Millefiori glass. Like little tiny specks of glass in there. So that's pretty cool. I like that one. All right, now here's all the rings. This is probably a mood ring. Let's see, yeah, it's changing color. It's turning dark blue, which means what, happiness? All right, so it is adjustable. Right now it's at a six and a quarter. This one's just a silver tone ring and it has those little, I don't even know what you would call that, little black dots. Seven and three quarter. Uh, these got a lot of wear to them. What about this one? So this one's got a lot of wear on the back. Looks like it's a four. Really pretty, that might be, it's kind of like a blue. Not quite as purple as a tanzanite, but it's pretty. Uh, let's see, this one, this one again has some wear. It's a seven and three quarter. This one is an eight and three quarter yellow enamel. This one is a six and a quarter in silver tone. And all of these right here, all of these have a lot of wear to them. Okay, so that is that. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope everyone has a wonderful Wednesday. Make sure that you stay tuned. Uh, we are going to be doing another video on Saturday. I have a 15 pound box from Shop Goodwill, Arizona. So we're gonna go through that. And uh, Sunday, stay tuned because we're gonna do a couple more bags and we're going to look at some single earrings because I was given two jars of single earrings from Miss Kathy. So we're gonna go through those and see if we find anything good. Hope everyone has a wonderful Wednesday and I will see you this weekend. Bye.